As Bentley, we have exceptionally high performance engines, but we are not a producer of supercars or ultimate sports cars. And so we find ourselves a very, a very clear position um, against other cars, for example, the Bugatti or other um, very much sporting cars, where they might have the absolute top limits of power and, and, and absolute top speed and performance that we do not have. So um, where we might be sitting at 600, maybe even more horsepower, and Bugatti might be up in the thousands, that's not a problem for us. We don't try to challenge the, the ultimate Lamborghini supercars, these type of cars. We're not in that, in that market. We're in the market of having high performance and luxury together in, in one package. There are other cars that also offer luxury, like a Phaeton or an Audi A8. Although they play a very important role in the upper premium segment and are flagships of their brands, they are not in competition with us as a luxury manufacturer. Peter Tomset is the owner of a very special Bentley. This car ushered in the second era of Bentley's history. This lasted over 60 years, from 1931 to 1988, when it was under the control of Rolls-Royce. Bentley was acquired in 1931 by Rolls-Royce in a rather unpleasant, not very English way. Bentley had a wonderful sporting history, and Rolls-Royce, of course, were in a totally different market. And after two years of doing one thing and another, they eventually put an experimental engine into an experimental chassis and launched this particular model, which was called the three and a half litre. So they made 1171 chassis. This car was manufactured in 1934 in October and went to Park Ward, who are now part of Bentley Motors, and had this saloon body put on for the then owner To some people, they, they thought that it was simply the same engine that went in the equivalent Rolls-Royce 2025. But uh, in fact, it's three and a half litres. And uh, so the engine is actually quite different to the Rolls-Royce. So whereas the Rolls-Royce struggled to reach a top speed of 74 miles an hour, the top speed of this car was uh, in the region of 94, 95 miles an hour. So it was a very fast touring car. Well, they built these cars in uh, Derby just for six years, from 1933 to 1939, when the war intervened. And as uh, I mentioned earlier, the cars were then manufactured in crew after that. So these cars are known as Derby Bentleys. And for the entire time, they've always been distinctly Bentley and have all the Bentley marks on them.